Hey fun fans! To get the word out about First Choice, our friends at Animark have provided a sweet giveaway of a snowblower motor with hex output. To enter, be a YouTube subscriber and let us know in the comments which product you'd like to see in round 2 of First Choice. You can enter on any video that has this intro and our winner will be announced on the fun Discord after December 3rd. So make sure you comment below. First Updates Now videos are brought to you by Stryker. Discover why so many first alumni and mentors are putting Stryker first when it comes to their careers, internships, and co-ops. Visit careers.stryker.com forward slash first to learn more. Okay, so uh, who, what, why? Uh, so we went over I'm, who I am. So I'm Marshall from the Zebracorns. Uh, the virtual kit of parts, which is items like software. There are redeemable vouchers uh, in particular, a product donation voucher from the amazing folks at Animark if you opted out of the kit of parts chassis. Uh, and there's a lot more in there as well. Uh, and then the first choice items are items made available by suppliers in various quantities, as Jerry covered just a little while ago. And then the purpose of this presentation, it's meant to be accessible to everybody. So not just uh, mentors, uh, though specifically the primary and secondary contacts are the people who are going to probably be doing a lot of this. Um, it's meant to be accessible, so this presentation is available for everybody, and it's something that... Uh, it's intentionally kind of easily accessible for folks to use and reference. So we're going to provide some advice about the bill of materials, uh, how that affects first choice credits and product donation vouchers. And then uh, in the end, we are going to have some questions. So awesome. So uh, how do you start with all of this? You start with the first dashboard. This is on the main firstinspires.org website. And uh, if you'll notice uh, in this, there's a drop down for uh, product codes and vouchers on the left hand side there. And that's where you're going to go to actually gain access to all of the items that are available in the virtual kit of parts, as well as the items for first choice. So where you can get your ID and passcode for logging into the first choice website specifically. So, uh, so who has access to that? Uh, the primary and secondary mentors have access to it, uh, and only teams that have secured their registration, meaning they've paid at this point. That's going to get some questions, particularly from rookie teams who might still be waiting on registration to go through, particularly if you're waiting on some of the grants to happen. I'm going to be honest with you and tell you that I don't know the answer to those questions about whether those teams are covered by this. And what you'll have to do is reach out to FIRST directly and ask them if you don't already have access to these items inside the dashboard. So um, students, what should you do? You should talk to your mentors about getting access uh, either through their accounts or working with them. Some mentors are not comfortable handing out their account information for these things. If they're not, then just work with them on it. So make sure that you've got access to the software that you need um, and your mentors know what is important to you. So have a plan. That's the most important thing. And you want to know that who's ordering items and what they're going to be ordering. Uh, if you're making priority lists, make sure you've got maybe a certain group of people that are in charge of making those priority lists for first choice and they're not stepping on each other's toes. So uh, how are you going to pay for shipping? So for us, uh, it goes on a credit card and away we go. So it's only typically a couple dollars um, thanks to the amazing folks in Animark for the FedEx shipping that they do. So it's pretty reduced rate. Um, he got voucher codes for software, so make sure you have a plan for who's going to get access to them. And then, you know, uh, who, who needs access? Which mentors need what software? Which students need what software? So, so what's in the virtual kit of parts? Uh, lots of software items. Uh, SolidWorks, uh, Autodesk, Altium, which is awesome uh, electronic design software. Uh, some tutorials from a company called Solid Professor in there, and there's a lot more stuff. Uh, I will also put a plug in here for GitHub, which I don't believe is listed in the virtual kit of parts list, but GitHub does provide free accounts to various teams and they've been awesome supporters of FIRST for a long time now. Um, so take advantage of these things. Tell sponsors, thank you. Uh, let them know that it's awesome what they're donating and that you're using it and how you're using it. So uh, there's actually a new website as of last year um, and they've brought it back this year, which is awesome for first that lists the kit of parts and all of these items in more detail. So there's there you also go. A key, a key part of this one is yeah. actually show the dates right here. You're almost to yep. it. 
And they actually do a very good job of showing, like, breaking this one down this year because it, it's always been somewhat confusing when your deadlines are. There's yep. a really good way of seeing deadlines right there. Yep. Nope. And I think if you scroll further down, I believe they have some additional deadlines listed. Yep. And you can even add them to a calendar if you want. So if you've got a team calendar, Google Calendar for your team, add dates to it. Cool. So vouchers uh, this year, Armabot is back. Automation Direct is back. Uh, I don't. I, I think Clippard's in there. I don't remember. Uh, Andy Mark, of course, if you opted out of the Kettle Parts chassis and opted for the product donation voucher. Uh, Inventables is awesome. Uh, great place to get some tools or uh, kind of materials for your team. T Connectivity is back, and then there's more as well. So. Uh, the physical kit of parts actually will contain a booklet, has for the last two years, that's going to have a lot more information, and it actually acts as a checklist, which is kind of cool. So you get to check things off as you go through. So, uh, next slide, Tyler. Yep, there we go. So what do we get? This is actually the list from this year from our account, so you can see all of the awesome things that are in there. Uh, I'm not going to go read all that off, but obviously there's a lot of different vouchers in there that you get to take advantage of. So now we're going to move on to first choice and we're going to talk about the process for first choice. And as you can see, there's this awesome chart that first is provided. And uh, the first thing everybody wants to do when they look at it is uh, just have a bit of a panic attack and, uh, you know, think about how hard this is going to be, except it isn't. It's not that bad. So the diagram is actually pretty straightforward and it's just a simple block diagram showing you the process. I'll be honest with you, the diagram, as awesome as it is and as thoroughly as it explains things, it's not the important part of this. What is important is that it's a semi-random process, and each uh, walkthrough of the diagram represents a, a new row within your first choice priority list. Um, at least that's how it's been in the past, and I believe that's how it is this year. Correct, Jerry? Yep. Yeah, the yep. process is identical. Uh, we yep. wanted When we first did this one, we kind of wanted to make sure it was very clear to everybody to yep. so people could see what it was, which is why all this detail is here yep. um, in this chart. But I mean, it, 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 he's right. These, This is the very detailed step. Yep. Is there enough credits is one of those. It's a yes, no question. So I mean, yep. one whole block answers that question. Another block answers another question. It's very, very simple, is, simple steps. It, it, it really isn't that bad. So uh, it just, it seems like a lot to take in, particularly for new mentors. Uh, I know it can be a little overwhelming. I, I put this in here mostly to put people at ease to let them know that, you know, it, it's, it seems like a complicated process. It really isn't. Um, the important thing is that it's a randomized process and that each ro each run through of the process represents a new item, new, uh, uh, new step within the first choice or within your priority list. So each, each line on your priority list. So and we'll get to that in a minute, but so next slide. Yep. So uh, what do you need to know? Um, between November 22nd, which is past, and December 4th, which is in our future, uh, you need to log in, go get your login details from the first Inspires first dashboard, and then you're going to log in to firstchoiceandymark.com, the main site, and you're going to go get signed up. You're going to input some shipping details, and I believe they need a credit card, correct, Jerry? That's true. We, need, we yep. hold the, an authorization on the credit card alone. Uh, and that just will cover the shipping whenever we figure out what the shipping is. Since we yep. don't know what people are getting yet, we don't know what the shipping is. So the yep. author authorization is a little bit high to begin with, but yeah. this actually covers, the reason why it's so high is because we're going to California. Some people want overnight to California. Yep. I don't know why, it's first choice, but if that's what they want, that's what they want. Yeah, and I do believe that the options, you can choose if you want overnight shipping or not, and I don't know what the, the numbers are, but... It's not really important. What is important is they're going to hold a, a bunch of money for you either way. So I think it's about sixty dollars for the uh, standard. Yeah, seventy-five shipping. for ground and one hundred and fifty for overnight. There we go. So for, uh, U.S. So if and you really need that overnight shipping, yeah, right. you need yep. your first choice stuff immediately. You get it. So. Yep. And I mean, this uh, year with some so yeah. of the rails that are in it, the the shipping could be quite expensive because you're shipping four foot rails. So yep. It's very rare that it's ever that high. But it just covers us so we don't have to worry about trying to discuss back and forth for a week to be able to cover shipping. Yep. And then, you know, it covers it for international teams as well, I believe. Yep. 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 Yeah, their, their authorization is higher due to it yep. being a higher international cost. 
Uh, in Canada, we actually have a broker that we already pay our pack, pay taxes and duties, so it's covering their taxes and duties. Because unfortunately, if you're not not a or if you're an international team, you're paying customs and duties even if it's free. Yeah. How the so, law so yeah, uh, once you're logged in, you're mm -hmm. gonna start by making your priority list, and your priority list are it's a list of parts in the priority that you want them from first choice, and. All items on the first choice website are going to have a credit value and a quantity associated with them. You're probably going to want to make note of those. Um, and the reason you're going to want to make note of those is because if there's only a hundred of, let's say, a high-end brushless motor with a motor controller built in or something, then you know you want to be one of the teams that that gets that. You probably want to move that up the priority in your priority list. Let's say so. Um, so yeah, each team is going to be given credits to use. Uh, each team this year in 2020 has 580 credits to start with, and your credits that are left at the end of round one are going to roll over into round two. Now, your credits at the end of the year are sadly not going to roll over into next year. That won't work. Um, but you will at least have the credits uh, between the rounds of first choice, and there are two rounds. So, yep. like I said, yep, go ahead, Jerry. I'm saying right after the second round, we go back to essentially a normal order opening or normal ordering process. So whatever credits you have left over at that point, you can just use for whatever's left. Yep. And it's a, like I said earlier, it's a random process over a lot of rounds. So each each row of the, the list represents a new run of that table, the flow chart we had earlier. And that happens for all of the teams that take advantage of this, all the teams that create priority lists. And then there, I have to mention this year, uh, Kate uh, Pilot from First, who's actually one of the Kittle Parts managers. Uh, Kate put together this awesome video that's out on YouTube and available for everybody. And it's exactly this. It's going through this entire process uh, bit by bit and making sure teams understand it. So, and I got to say, it's tremendous. I watched it just the other day. Um, great job uh, making sure teams know what to do. So it's very approachable. Hey Jerry, how did how did five eighty become the number? Like, what is is there a reason? Like, there's I'm sure there's some reason behind that, right? Right there, yeah, there is. Um, once we figure out what all is going in round one, um, well, really, this is this is Kate and Ted uh, Ted's job, Ted Hood and Kate Pilot at uh, first. Uh, once they figure out everything that was going in the round in round one, uh, they kind of go through and assign credit values per each item, uh, and then we fi they figure out how many total credits are available. Because uh, what you don't want to do is say everybody gets a thousand credits, and there's five thousand teams, and there's only five hundred credit of, credits available of items total. Well, then you'd run out of, out of out of items really quick. So they make sure there's a balance between how many total credits between all teams that can use first choice, uh, and how many items are actually provided, and what their credit values are. Uh, so there's a little little bit of math going on behind the scenes on that, and sure. and the credit values do not directly translate into dollars because they, um, they the idea is that it's well is it how many do we have is one is one thing how what's the the dollar value is part of it but it's a minor part of it the next part is how big is how big of a um, impact is it for an FRC team if it's something that is cost a thousand dollars but no team's going to use it. Why, why is anybody really going to use credits then? So there's a lot of thought going into that for every item as well. Makes sense. Yeah. Uh, and then, again, you know, the website's firstchoicebyandymark.com. Uh, you're going to have to provide billing address, shipping address, credit card information, and that's the, the bare minimum to create your priority list. Uh, international teams, we already talked about, to be some additional charges. Um, priority lists are saved when you click the update button. So I believe, has that changed, Jerry? I don't think it has. No, just when you hit, yeah. Yep. You have to hit and the then, button. yep, so meaning if you make a bunch of changes and then don't hit update, it's not going to save. So, Correct. Well, uh, that works. We'll skip ahead. Okay. Uh, so important first choice dates. The first thing I'm going to mention is all of these dates, the important thing that happens, happens at 12 p.m. noon Eastern time. Okay. Uh, so for round one, November 22nd, it opened. Um, for round, uh, for the end of it, it's going to be on December 4th. And then December 6th is the teams being notified of the round one results. So, uh, and then round two, like I said, there's two rounds. Round two happens immediately after kickoff. 
And uh, on January 4th, that's going to be when round two opens. And you're going to get more credits, as has been the case. I don't know how many, though typically it's not as many as the first round. Um, January 9th is when the lock uh, priority lists are locked in. And then January 13th, teams will be notified. January 17th is when First Choice will open for live orders uh, the way it has. So basically acting as a standard e-commerce site, but with credits. And then April 10th, First Choice closes for the year for good. Yep. So, And I'll throw out the reminder, 12 p.m. noon Eastern time. Yep. I get lots of emails after noon. And everybody's like, oh, I, I thought it was midnight. Nope, nope, it's noon. <laughs> noon. Eastern. Yep, Eastern time. Uh, so, uh, so how do you do this if you're a rookie team? Uh, the suggestions are provided by Andy Mark for priority lists. In fact, they're on the website. You can go through, and we'll look at these a little while, um, just a little bit. Um, use them. Use the suggested priority list. And new this year, uh, you don't just wipe out your existing priority list with them. Um, you can actually add them to your existing priority list or even use them to replace your existing list. Um, so either one works. There's two buttons for that, and we'll review that in just a bit. Uh, I'm also going to shout out to our, my friends over at the Spectrum team, 3847, um, down in Texas. Uh, those good folks have put together an awesome uh, set of kind of suggestions for the last couple of years, not just for first choice, but also uh, voucher items that you might want to consider. So uh, parts that you might want to consider when you're redeeming your voucher from TE Connectivity or DigiKey or whoever it is. So, uh, And then ask your mentor teams in your area. You know, your particular area, there might be a team near you that has some suggestions that they think are particularly valuable. So, um, and then, you know, you want to read the item descriptions. And then if you really need help from me, I am happy to field questions from you. So support at team900.org. So, and we'll do everything I can to help you. So my professional first choice tips, uh, briefly, uh, you want to add way more items to your list, to your priority list than you have credits. So at least two times. Um, you need to look through all the items in First Choice, every single item, read all the descriptions, make sure you know what it is. So each line of your list represents a separate run of that chart, so you want to make sure that you're uh, getting the maximum number of items that you actually want per run. Um, and then look at the item quantities available and make choices based on that. And then lastly, again, credits carry over from round one to round two, so it might make sense to conserve some credits, depending on what you're trying to do and what parts are important to you. And next slide. Yep. So I mentioned, I'm going to talk about this very briefly. So the bill of materials rules changed last year and they stayed the same this year. So what's important is that uh, the value of only the items that you have received are exempt for your robots bill of materials. So that could very well impact your team if you're right up near the edge of the bill of materials uh, limits. So just make sure you understand what that means for you and your team. Um, my first bit of advice is forget the bill of materials and just get the parts and tools you need because that's what's important. And then my second bit of advice for those who this does impact, uh, you might want to hedge your bets a little bit and save your credits and vouchers for later when you know what parts are actually going on to your robot. So, um, and then that's it for me for that presentation. So I think we want to jump into the first choice demo, right? However, we're going to start our uh, first giveaway, actually, before we get into our second one. So we will be going to that. And Marshall, definitely appreciate it. People uh, can actually access this. Is that correct? Yes, uh, where can, they can. Where can they find this? Zebracorn.link slash, uh, what is it? Uh, it's on It's on that the last page, I think. On the so, last page? On the last page of that slide. Hang on. <laughs> I got we'll, it. Give me one we'll, second. We'll get to the link in chat. So, uh, chat so it's zebracorn.link slash VKOP2020. There we go. There you go. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. You can also directly help support fun by visiting our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live, and independent.